All right, so thanks for watching another stream. Thanks for watching another video. My name is Dennis, and I love talking about Tesla deal hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best deal on Tesla at the best financing rate. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested, and definitely check out my Patreon link down below in the description where you can support the channel and get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there with all the best interest rates for financing your Tesla. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description. And today's live stream is partnered with Mint Mobile, where you can save money on your mobile phone plan, but more on that later. So here it is. This is what started it all. Shout out to Jack Jack for posting this on Reddit. Possible new Model Y sighting. This was spotted in the Southern California area, actually near the Rolls Bowl area in Pasadena. But shout out to Not a Tesla app. They posted this. Tesla's upcoming, upcoming Model Y project, Juniper, spotted with front bumper camera and of course coming in 2025 if we take a look at this it confirms what elon has said that juniper is not coming out this year uh that's at least what uh, elon said and that it's going to be a next year thing at maybe at the earliest i personally think it's going to be a mid-year thing next year but certainly taking a look at this this is something we definitely missed on that first picture you can see kind of clearly that there's a little notch at the bottom which is most likely covering that front camera with where it would be i mean that's also kind of weird though because why would it actually be in the middle like that a like square in the middle because usually there's like a front license plate that goes right in the middle as well but i guess one can assume because one could assume that because the cyber truck has a front camera in the front and full self driving autopilot and just having a camera in the camera in the front is a feature that a lot of vehicles have tesla of course only has it on the tesla cyber truck so we could easily see this coming to all the other different models as well. It was teased on the Model 3 Highland. There was like a random shot that posted on the Tesla.com website that showed a little camera on the front and they quickly tried to remove it. And so certainly that could be what is going to be coming with the Model Y Highland or Model Y Juniper and then rolling out to other vehicles and other models after that. There's also another rumor of like a Model S or Model X mini refresh as well with like a front bumper camera and a LED interior. So maybe that that is what is to come in the near future. But still, definitely some pretty interesting stuff. But shout out to Home Mars Cali. You posted this because this is what Elon said about this very clearly and very, very straight to the point. Quote, there is no new Model Y this year. Please stop hinting that there is as it damages our sales of the current version. So yes, that's what Elon is talking about is the Osborne effect where people like you and me, they're not going to buy the old one. They're just going to wait it out for the brand new one. And so I certainly put a poll out there. I wanted to ask everyone out there, like, where are you at with your purchase? If you're waiting for the model Y or model or new model three or whatever. And so I put a question, are you waiting to purchase the model Y Juniper? Uh, and overwhelming 44% said yep 23% said nope I want a deal now 14% said they'd rather have a model 3 6% said what the heck is a juniper and the rest just wanted to see the results so certainly juniper if it comes out to be what it has been appeared or shown in some of the spy photos or concept photos or basically a mashed together model 3 then it certainly could be a very 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 interesting proposition for next year this one is like this one's technically a Model 3 that was kind of smashed together or a Model 3 performance and taken off some of the performance bits uh, to make it look like it is a Model Y size for that. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what you're thinking. And other news, we've got some cool wraps for Model 3 performances getting rolled out. Here's a satin black one. It's the first one I've seen uh, for this model. And uh, certainly every single time I see a Model 3 performance, it gets very tempting for sure to not try and get one. And here we go satin chrome red just like how our cyber truck was wrapped red for that iron man wrapped this one looks fantastic super clean that is for sure that we can see that how great this actually looks maybe this is the move maybe another type of satin wrap for the model 3 performance and shout out to brandon for posting this 2024 two car solution and now i'm getting tempted because like this might be the two car solution because right now we have the cyber truck and the model x and we don't need the model x now we've been driving the cyber truck 
a lot on the weekends. We still drive the Model X uh, daily because it has autopilot and the Cybertruck doesn't. But Model 3 has everything and anything you need. And it's also kind of comfortable as well. So maybe I'm going to go test drive a Model 3 Performance again to see how comfortable it is. Maybe on some of these highways for a long-term drive. But definitely some producing stuff. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what you're thinking. 